Is he really speaking accurately about manhood and what it is to be a man? I say he's not. Here we go. We are tired, tired, tired of having our hopes and dreams mocked, whining, tired of living in despair and never getting any thanks. Why are you gay? If you keep pushing us, well, we're going to turn around, we're going to look you in the eye, and then we're going to fuck. First thing that's funny with this guy, he's very feminine. Before we even get to that, he says, I am tired. That's not attractive. I'm tired. As a man, you should be strong and vigorous. One of the main things I promote to you is not getting tired. I don't give a shit what you just did. For example, yesterday I was up in a mountain at 8,000 feet elevation with two hand weights and a backpack and I was running for over an hour. I'm still not tired. I am teaching you to be a real savage. Not to be an alpha male, but to be an apex predator because we don't even identify with them on a species level. They're not even the same species. We look down on them. And this mentality of I am tired, that's feminine. That's weak. That's not manly. I'm tired. Then he goes on from saying, I'm tired. He says literally, and I quote, I'm tired as a man for being blamed for everything everything? That's hyperbolic. That's an exaggeration. That is in fact feminine. Why? Because one of the major marks of femininity is to be hypersensitive, to be very emotional. And in being emotional, you tend to do what? Exaggerate. He's exaggerating. That is not masculine. A man is a rational being that listens, observes, thinks, meditates, then speaks, and engages in action. So number one, you don't get tired, men. The saints, we go harder than a motherfucker. We don't get tired. Number two, no, 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 we're not going to complain. We're going to take action. And number three, we're not going to be hyperbolic and exaggerate because when you exaggerate the problem, you can never address and fix the problem. When you're saying we're being blamed for everything, now you don't have a realistic understanding of what the actual challenge is that men in our society are facing because you're lying. It's dishonest. And remember, you heard it here, folks. If your ass ain't got a whistle or a clipboard, you're not a coach. And ironically, if you look at Coach Red Pill, he looks like he's never played a sport in his whole goddamn life. In fact, he looks like a hillbilly from West Virginia. I mean, come on, who's really following this guy as a dating coach? Does he look like he's ever gotten laid? They should make a new movie called 60-Year-Old Virgin. He looks like the only guy in the retirement home who's never had a piece of pie. I mean, it's outrageous. All the time. We are tired. We men are tired. And if you keep pushing us, well... We're going to turn around, we're going to look you in the eye, and then we're going to fuck you up.